Welcome to SAISD News. I'm Lucas Bell from Wakeview High School. And I'm Chelsea Ogan from Central High School. Award-winning children's author and illustrator Suzanne Bloom recently visited Santa Rita Elementary. Santa Rita's second graders won a poster contest sponsored by the Tom Green County Library as a part of the annual Read to Me March Around the Courthouse. As a reward, Suzanne Bloom, author and illustrator of the popular Goose and Bear series of children's books, visited the school and talked to students about the importance of reading and writing and how to find inspirations for their own stories. Taking time to read together, grown up and child, is a very important statement because it's saying to that child, you are important, I have time for you, and let's look at this book together. And whether you read all the words or whether you scan the pages and find your favorite pieces on the page, the most important thing is sitting together, taking time together. What I would like kids to feel confident about is writing their own stories, using bits and pieces from their own lives, and, and creating illustrations. So that even if they have other major interests, whether it's music or sports, you know how we all get interested in something else, um, there's still room to talk about your own life in writing and in pictures. April 22nd was Earth Day, and students at Goliad Elementary planted rose bushes in an effort to help the Earth. For the past two years, first graders in Ms. Schaus's class have planted rose bushes around the school in order to do something good for the environment and to demonstrate the important role that plants play in our world. The project was a culmination of the class's life science unit and a natural extension to Earth Day. We started off just learning about the different parts of plants and then we talked about how they, what they do for us, how they give us oxygen, how they trade off carbon dioxide for the oxygen, how they provide shade and food and all the good things that they do for us and how we need to give back to them. We've read the Lorax and the Giving Tree and had a lot of good discussions with that. And so we want to put into practice now. Fannin Elementary recently held a special pep rally to help students get ready for the STAR test. Each six weeks, the school holds a special pride rally to recognize students for good grades, perfect attendance, and good behavior. During a recent pride rally, third, fourth, and fifth graders were also encouraged as they prepared to take the STAR test. The rally featured cheers, skits, and games to help students feel motivated. This six weeks, um, our fifth six weeks fell at the end right around the start time and we wanted to encourage our third, fourth, and fifth grade students um, right before they took their test. So we not only celebrated our students for their accomplishments for fifth, six weeks, but we also took our students um, in third, fourth, and fifth grade and honored them, our third graders, having just taken a test the first time. We wanted to make sure that they felt motivated and comfortable um, tomorrow with what's going on. And um, we wanted to, you know, make a fool of ourselves as teachers, make sure that they knew that we, we were supportive of them, have some good laughs, and um, just take some time to wind down before testing. Blackshear Head Start recently held a health fair and play day to promote a healthy lifestyle. The annual parent involvement event kicked off with a child-friendly Zumba lesson taught by Lisa Thomas from the YMCA. Children and parents then participated in fun games and activities to promote healthy living, exercise, and staying active. Games included tricycle races, basketball, bowling, hula hoops, and more. With Head Start, we teach um, healthy lifestyle throughout uh, the year. Um, just like we require um, physicals and dentals so that we pr promote preventative health care and um, teach them um, healthy eating styles. Um, we have active play through centers, through outside time. We ask that parents come out and join their children because um, also if they stay healthy then their children will stay healthy. Uh, and then we do have parents that volunteer to bring games, bring uh, water, uh, or even just help out with any of the games. And last but not least, we'd like to recognize SAISD's 2014 Teachers of the Year, Debbie Lopez from Fort Concho Elementary and Tony Walker from Central High School. Congratulations to these two outstanding teachers. Chelsea, can you believe the school year's almost over? I know, it's hard to believe, but we only have one more episode of SAISD News left. That's right. And we'll see you back here in a few weeks for the final episode. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.